welcome to the channel guys it's the real show so you guys sad news reaching us right now is that nollywood actress cynthia okereke has passed on very shocking and sad news it is said that she passed on in her sleep yesterday night and i'm um, going to her page you can see that she was posting yeah i think a few months ago was the last time she posted but it's expected she's not a very young person so you don't expect her to be on social media 247 but um this is just sad because people are um, speculating that it's possible that it might be the stress and the trauma from her experiences um just less than a year ago you guys remember that sometime last year in july um she was kidnapped uh, mrs cynthia and her colleague mr clemson they were on a movie set and when they were going back to enugu apparently they didn't get back to enugu and they were kidnapped on their way back home after the whole experience i think they were with the kidnappers for a few days and finally and thankfully they were released a lot of people have come out to say that it's very possible that she never recovered from that and i don't doubt it i don't doubt it nigeria keeps on happening to people and it's just so sad now she was in her 60s and as you know funnily i think that 60s is not even such an old age but we make it look like it's old because of the way people die early in nigeria yes 60s somebody who is in their 60s have lived for a while but you know i don't know it just feels like people are dying so much this this and somebody said in the comment section that um nollywood people have to go and pray because they are experiencing so many deaths in nollywood and i feel like that's not true it's not a nollywood situation it's a nigerian situation look around you look around you so many health conditions so many things happening to people people just sleeping or waking up people it's just a lot and it's so sad this is so painful because she's somebody's mother people's grandmother and i keep on saying it nigeria happened to her you won't even you cannot take away the events of last year from this you know you cannot take away the events of last year from what happened it might have taken a few months but nobody knows the health conditions she must have gone through because of the stress of keeping her you know in the, the kidnappers then for as long as she was there it must have taken a toll on her she's not 10 years she's not 20 you know even somebody who is 10 and 20 this is traumatic and is the kind of pain that you get to live with all your life it's just so sad because you know growing up this is somebody that we watched on tv and i don't know i don't know her personally but i think i think that um from her acting you know she's the professional crier she would know how to cry ball her eyes out you know bring out those real tears wail like literally she wails more than she cries and you know it's just so sad really sad veterans are leaving people that should be acting movies at their old age when they are gray you know they are no longer here they are leaving and it's sad and listen i can't even stop but blame nigerian health system i think the healthcare system is crappy the reason for all these untimely deaths is obviously you cannot rule it out you cannot rule it out but let me know your thoughts are in the comment section my heart goes out to her family her children her grandchildren her close friends and you know my heart really goes out to them just hope and pray that you know she rests in perfect peace